और पटना के बापू सभागार में बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया की तरफ से सेमिनार का आयोजन किया गया है सेमिनार में सुप्रीम कोर्ट के चीफ जस्टिस यू यू अलत मौजूद है सीधे लिए चलते हैं Lawyers also have a duty to aid in this process, and the best way, the most convenient way, can be, in my concerns, resorting to the alternate dispute resolution methods, the whole heart of it, which has to be embraced, and the aim should not be a singular of a personal monetary benefit, but to further the larger interest of public and the institution. Mr. Manan Mishra mentioned about the lack of infrastructure. The issue is subsidies. I shall not say anything else further. Save and excess. That yes, we are not unmindful of it. And at the appropriate quarters, everything has been taken care of. But I beseech all the lawyers present here, as also the law students, that please come forward and come forward to do pro bono work and make sure that the tears. of the litigants of those in the state who have no access to justice but also who lack access to justice are right i must only remind ourselves that one tenth of india lives in bihar unfortunately the access the primary responsibility of those who take up law you know, this is to each one of us And more so, even so, as president here, take up law as a life choice. I use that phrase particularly for the students, the young entrants of the bar, and must always learn and at all times, even at personal cost, champion the cause of the needy and the drowning daughter. I have travelled 37 out of 38 districts of the bar, and I have seen the sorrow. The misery, the pain, the anguish of each one of the thousands, and wherever I have been, all the respected bar associations, I have only emphasized that collectively we have to take up this issue and deal with it firmly, expeditiously. I would also say this: the young lawyers, also while learning from their seniors, have a responsibility to bring along with themselves. Our generation into the age of technology-driven justice system, or the vision of enable and empower to be generally grasped and implemented. All constraints of the system must be technologically adapted. In recent times, an elaborate emphasis here: the mammoth challenge faced by the world has been COVID-19 pandemic. As in many other turbulent times, the community of lawyers. As even in this case, in short adherence to the rule of law, and more so in Bihar, the cardinal principle of any vibrant democratic society. I repeat, in Bihar, I am immensely humbled to say that the wheels of justice did not, for a moment, come to a stop. The tectonic shift in the human mindset, that is, to an online court system. brought the effectiveness of which was a joint effort of the bar and bench as also the staff serving each one of us be it a class for employee or be it a clerk of the honorable lawyers good all to all of them they only it is only this which made us travel further in leaps and bounds forever transforming the conception of delivering justice again i must see this sir that the home page of the patna high court website evidence is not only the numbers achieved during the time of pandemic in e filing we are the only court in the country which is doing e filing in the high court but also our case clearance ratio one of the law ministers here is the highest in the country ever achieved in the history of this court coming to the website i must say this that the website has acquired a symbol of transparency hence none 
has any grievance with regard to either listing or hearing of the cases on its position. Specific to women lawyers, as per the available data, the total number of lawyers is just 15%. The issue of gender equality in the profession, in my considered view, requires much attention. I'm sure Mr. Manan Mishra would take care of this. I wholeheartedly second Honorable the Chief Justice of India's vision for the involvement of the law students in the legal aid process, furthering their learning and also that of the Bar Council of India.